Let's take a look at this example. As you probably noticed, we cannot factorize two variables like we used to do. So if you cannot factorize two, factorize at least one. So I'm going to have C naught and B naught, A naught, or B, A. I factorize C naught from these two terms. From these two terms, I can factorize C. That's why I'm going to write C in the front of the parentheses, and in parentheses, I'm going to write B naught A or B A naught. Probably you are recognizing that this is nothing else just exclusive nor. This is nothing else just exclusive or. Just write this down. So I'm going to have inside of the parentheses exclusive nor B A nor. This is exclusive nor or C exclusive or. Now, exclusive nor and exclusive or are complements. That's why I'm going to call this Q naught, just to make it a little bit simple. And this one I'm going to call Q. Let me rewrite this expression one more time. C naught, Q naught, or C, Q. As you're probably recognizing, this is nothing else just exclusive nor. That's why I'm going to write exclusive nor. C, exclusive Q nor. This is exclusive nor gate. We said that Q is equivalent to B, exclusive or A. So instead of Q, I'm going to write this. So I'm going to have C, exclusive or B, exclusive or A, and everything is going to be inverted. This is the solution to the problem.